happening now, a grand jury hears testimony in the case of accused arsonist Jonathan Young. Dunkirk police identify the man killed in a train accident Friday. Jamestown City Council votes yes on a pending annexation. That's news now for Tuesday, August 29th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios, where interest-free financing is just a phone call away. This is Morning News Now. Good morning. It's 61 degrees with cloudy skies. I'm Kyle Helis. And I'm Ryan Hedrick. We have breaking news on the case against suspected arsonist Jonathan Young. That's right. A grand jury was convened this morning at the Jurassic Building in Mayville. We spoke to several people with mixed feelings about this process. Falconer Fire Chief Charlie Piazza says hopefully this grand jury summons this a step closer to closure. It's not going to be too distant until everything's, you know, in a closed case. So, Do you think this is a step towards closure? Uh, it's going to be for some, and for some others that lost everything, it's probably, there's probably never going to be any closure. Now, this couple lived with Young. They say they don't know what to expect. He seemed to be nice. He seemed to be like a nice guy, but then all of a sudden it just happened. I don't know if he's sick or if he's just playing it, acting like a like got out or something or I have to learn how to forgive him first and then it will take time for me to let go now young currently sits in a Butler County prison the Jamestown City Council voted unanimously to annex the lands uh, the land that sits between uh, Dow Street and Tiffany Street so what's next Jamestown Mayor Sam Teresi says if any of the municipalities involved objects will ultimately be brought to the uh, fourth department of the appellate division of the state supreme court for a determination on the matter. We expect that process uh, to start as soon as the town and the village are completed with their uh, portion of the process. A couple of weeks ago, Faulkner Mayor Jim Rensel said his board plans to vote against annexing the land. Well, we all have critics, but sometimes things go too far. Yesterday, we published a screenshot you see here of a threat by J-Rock on Facebook directed towards news director Ryan Hedrick. Well, further research revealed Jay to be 23-year-old James V. Rairdon of Jamestown. It turns out that Rairdon is wanted by city police from an incident in November. We, of course, filed charges against the man. If you know of his whereabouts, contact the New York State Police. Straight ahead on Morning News Now, police released the identity of a man killed in Friday's train accident. But first, here's a look at your skyline weather forecast. And good morning, everybody. A look at our skyline weather forecast for this Tuesday. Sun and mixed clouds. We top out near 73 degrees into tonight. Partly to mostly cloudy skies. We bottom out near 53 Looking towards Wednesday, it'll be a mostly sunny day. We could see a few clouds moving in the afternoon, and that gives way to a chance for a thunderstorm with a high near 74 degrees. And then on Thursday, we will see light rain early. We remain cloudy as we head throughout the afternoon. Not very warm, though, with a high only in the mid-60s. From the Skyline Weather Center, I'm Justin Gould. Morning News Now continues next. Sound Rhythms School of Music. Get the value and results that you deserve with the Jamestown, New York, and surrounding regions only choice for premier music education, where the area's top instructors give you fun and exciting music lessons for a variety of instruments and styles. We offer private lessons, group classes, master classes, events, workshops, and seminars for all the ages and skill levels. Call Sound Rhythm Studio at 450-0072. Stop dreaming. Start doing today. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the Main Landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Well, County Executive hopeful George Borrello toured the site of his proposed Best of Western New York Commerce Center on Monday. 
Our Justin Gould takes us there. County executive hopeful George Borello plans to rejuvenate this section of Ripley with the best of Western New York Commerce Center. If elected, Borello said he wants to draw people off the expressway and into Chautauqua County. I'm not just talking about your typical welcome center where people stop to use the bathroom and get some gas. There will certainly be those amenities and facilities there, but what I'm talking about is something on a much grander scale that will itself be a destination. Borello envisions the center mimicking the Tamrack, a successful pit stop in West Virginia. We would feature some of our local restaurants, so really a destination where people can come and get a taste of what they might experience here in western New York and the southern tier, and hopefully that will encourage those people to not only spend a little bit of time and money here at the, uh, at the center, the Gateway Center, but also continue on down into parts of Chautauqua County. Also surveying the project today, County Legislator John Hammer, who plans to support Borello all the way. It's a big lift. There's uh, no doubt about it. It's going to take a concentrated uh, effort. It's not going to just be one person uh, that's going to push this through. So what's next for this project? Well, Borello said if elected, he'll fight for state funding and look for private investors to get the ball rolling. In Ripley, Justin Gould, WNY News Now where coverage comes first. All right, Justin, thank you. Dunkirk police have released the name of the man that was run over by a train on Friday. 27-year-old John Sharp of Dunkirk was run over by a CSX train Friday night while sitting between the tracks on South Roberts Road overpass in Dunkirk. Police are still trying to figure out why he was seated on the tracks in the first place. This accident just days after a train hit a car that was on the tracks in Ripley, killing the female driver. Two women dressed as nuns tried to rob a bank in the Poconos on Monday. Authorities show the suspected tellers at Citizens, uh, so the, the suspected, uh, but then left without taking anything. Police believe the suspects were scared off when one of the tellers activated the automatic alarm. It's unclear if the suspects got away in a vehicle or on foot. The FBI is currently investigating the incident. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvan Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer, plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. for Cameron, you know, he was the only senior we had there, and he's put as much time or more than, you know, anyone I've ever coached, so. He says that Coach Wilcox had a tremendous impact on him, both on and off the map. The Jamestown Red Raider marching band is getting ready to set off to Chicago for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. off in the bottom of the third last night in the Bronx and look at Chase Headley chase that ball deep into the right field porch tying the ball game up at one. But here's the mark of a first place team. The Indians down 2-1, six inning. Look at Jose Ramirez come up and smack that ball deep to right and that ball is gone. And Carlos Santana would add a home run, another one, and that would put the Indians up to stay final score in the Bronx, 6-2. All right, a trade in the NFL to tell you about. Linebacker Reggie Ragland with the Buffalo Bills has been dealt to the Chiefs in exchange. Buffalo acquires a fourth-round pick in the 2019 draft. You see the draft footage from last year. For the Buffalo Bills, they cut ties with Ragland, 2016 second-round pick. He was in jeopardy of being cut after the team established their 53-player roster.
Located in the St. Elmo building in Chautauqua Institution, La Familia Restaurant is more than a restaurant. So people love the fact that we are committed to the farm-to-table aspect and our produce and focus on sustainability with our seafood too. La Familia has signature dishes. Uh, sirloin filet over on the table. Next is our Aegean chicken and a cider brine pork chop. La Familia even has a singing chef. La Familia, fine dining with a family atmosphere. Let them host your special event today. LaFamiliaCHQ.com Jamestown's newest vape shop is Cloud City, located at 121 East 2nd Street and open 11 to 7 Monday through Saturday. This cool, fresh environment is a great place to hang with friends and vape. Cloud City's expert staff is here to help. Try their in-house flavor, Cloud City, a delicious marshmallow combination, or their flavor of the day for just $3. Whether you're a first-time vapor or an expert puffer, visit Cloud City today. A local artist is being recognized by the U.S. Mint for her design of the 2017 Ellis Island Quarter. Little Valley resident Barbara Fox is a master designer for the U.S. Mint and has been part of its artistic infusion program since 2017. This is not her first. This is not the first time her design has been used on a quarter. Fox has also designed four other America the Beautiful quarters and 21 other coin or metal designs for the U.S. Mint as well. Wow, that's fantastic, Kyle. That's really a lot cool. of great artists in this area. You know, I had no idea that anybody from around here even worked for the U.S. <laughs> Mint. You know what I mean? Like, I that's, that's really super cool. And, you know, Little Valley is just, what, 20, 25 minutes up the road. Stones throw away from Jamestown. I guess. It's been nice sitting in for Justin. <laughs> Justin will be back tomorrow, thank God. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us today, guys. We'll see you back tomorrow. Don't forget our social media revolution is upon you. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For Round the Clock News, head to WNYNewsNow.com. It's where coverage comes first. Have a great day. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I'm so perplexed with just one breath I'm writing. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I'm so perplexed on that it's almost shocking.